Hello there everyone and welcome back to my next episode on Vastin Dimensions. I'm Mar and as you can hear from the growling behind me, I have found myself a zombie villager. It is a librarian, so I'm thinking I might try to rustle out a, a potion of a weakness and a, what is it, a notch apple. Um, see if I can't cure him and maybe he'll have a good trade, I don't know. Um, in the meantime, as you can see, we've still got the uh, iron farms... Uh, the mob farms that we've been working on that I've been talking about. I haven't really showed a lot with them too much. Um, we've got this giant hill that Dee Dee put together, um, just covering up the ugly bits underneath. Um, so we've got the mob farm at the very bottom. And then we've got an iron farm and then another iron farm. This one has all 12 villagers. That one's only got like five or so. Over there you can see, um, I call this the leaf mound. Um, and you'll see why here in a moment as we get closer. <laughs> it's just a lot of leaves, a lot of leaf blocks. Um, I also used uh, green stained glass um, to help give it that like organic look, I guess. Well, hello there. Let's uh, take you out of the picture. Uh, what this basically is, is a, a new villager breeder that I have put together. Um, you can see that we have two villagers right here. They have been hearting and, and breeding and everything. It took a lot to get them to work. Oh my goodness, you guys are coming out of the woodworks, aren't you? Come here, you. Whoop, hello. Let's take these guys out. Why do you all have to spawn with armor? What's with that? Come here, you. Anymore? Are we alone now? Okay. I think I mentioned it, um... Uh... Like, the very first episode when I died, I was surprised at how hard these zombies hit, and I don't remember if I've mentioned it since then, but, uh, we are playing in hard mode, so these guys do a fair bit more damage than they ordinarily would. Um, anyway, back to the breeder. Uh, we originally had a breeder underground, and I couldn't figure out why they weren't breeding. It was like... They just weren't gonna heart or do anything. Eventually I discovered it was because we had mob griefing turned uh, off, so they wouldn't pick up carrots, none of the food that we would throw at them, which means they probably just didn't have anything in their inventory to breed with. Um, but we now have that turned back on. These guys are working. Uh, they have already produced <laughs> a nitwit. Great, you know. But hey, I I'll take it. I'm not too fussy. I'm just using them for the for the iron farm up there. So that's what we've got going on here. I actually recorded a whole bunch of clips um, in the last couple days, and then I realized I had forgotten to give OBS priority in my task manager, so it kind of ended up being unusable in a lot of places, and I decided I would just start over. So basically what I did in those clips is, um, and this was mostly before this was fixed, I had been going out to, I, I thought to myself, well, maybe their inventory is stuffed full of seeds. I don't know how long these villagers have been chilling here. Um, so my idea had been, well, let's go out. There's a humongous desert just out of sight over there. And there's a whole bunch of villages in it. I was like, well, let's go take a look at some of these villages. Bring back some villagers. Well, then I got sidetracked in, because I kept finding a bunch of, uh, of librarians. I'm like, well, I, I better see what their traits are, you know? Um, so I did. I looked at, I, I unlocked a bunch of their traits. And I actually found some really, really good ones. There were four that I was going to bring back. Um, three of which are now over there. I'll show you in a minute. One of them, unfortunately, died. He had channeling for 10 emeralds and fire aspect 2 for 16 emeralds. Not my favorite enchantments. I've honestly never even had a trident, so I don't really care about channeling, I guess. But it, but it's still a great price for the enchantment, and I figured it couldn't hurt to have it. Um, unfortunately, he did get hit by a, um, a husk, and I'm unfamiliar with husk mechanics. For the most part, I've never really stayed in the desert too much, um, but I'm guessing it probably works pretty much the same as a zombie. He turns into a husk at some point, or just withers away and dies, I don't know. But I lost him, one minute he was there, next minute my boat was just me and, and thin air, I guess. So, lost him. Um, 
but I did finally manage to get the other three back here. I also went back out once we realized, once we discovered that it was the mob briefing that was causing the problem. I went back out because originally I had two, like a, a, some clerics and I think like a, a weaponsmith or something um, in here. And I wanted a farmer and I had found one out there. So I went way back out there again and brought back a farmer. And it is not exactly an easy trip. It takes about 20 minutes maybe. 10 to 20 minutes I don't I've never I've not actually timed it um, because I I take the river and it winds all the way through the desert and so you're constantly zigzagging and turning back on yourself um, there it was just crazy and there were a lot of places where for example like the dirt would be completely closed off and I'd have to tunnel my way through it um, so that was quite an ador or an ordeal. I spent several hours just bringing villagers back by boat. Um, but I finally got them here, all but the one that died. Uh, I've now got a cleric in here and the farmer. Everybody else has been sent that way, so we'll leave these guys to it. Um, I've, I'm not actually going to be close enough, I don't think, for them to do anything. Um, but we can at least come over here and take a look at the villagers that I do have. A, a couple of them in storage. Um, which is the part I've been working on this morning. Um, my, I, I feel like I've only, like, I guess I shouldn't even say I feel like, because I have just <laughs> done this on my, on, on the Wells Night series that I have, uh, on my channel as well. Um, gotta love those villagers, you know? So I've been, this is what I've been working on right now. Um, looks, it's pretty much the same sort of a system as I had on my other series uh, to get the villagers up here um, so that they can be used. This here uh, leads all the way, uh, like, along that little rickety line to the top uh, iron farm. So, but I need, but I don't want to get my villagers that I want to keep, uh, I don't want to get them into the system up there because, you know, that'd be a hassle trying to trade with them once they're up there in the boxes. So right now I've been working, I, I just started this, uh, this is going to be a, uh, do I keep it, do I want to send it to the iron farm or don't I, sort of a switch. Um, and that's why I have, oops, I just broke it, that's not what I wanted to do. That's why I have this right here. Um, so I'll, I'll leave this off, they're going to come up, they're going to stop here. And then I'm going to look at them, and I'm going to be like, hmm, do I want to send you to the iron farm? Okay, then I'll let you go. Do I want to keep you? Okay, in that case, let me flip this switch, and I'm going to put you over here. So that's what this is going to be for, which just means I need, like, a little box to hold them in, I guess. Um, and, like, with a trap door or something that I can close when I'm done to keep, you know, zombies out. It's pretty well let up in here, but, you know, you don't want to take any chances. Um... And then, of course, down here, I do have some water elevators, uh, but this is just the basic real design I have to go all the way up to the top. Um, and then down here is, uh, it's very cramped in here, but it's just your really basic um, system for getting villagers. Uh, I only have two minecarts, I'm going to need more. But the idea is, I'm actually not going to place it, but I, I, would, I would place it here. It would sit down here, suck a villager through the corner bring them back up. Um, without a villager, it doesn't have enough momentum to make it up the slope. With a villager, it can make it up to here. It's going to hit this rail, which triggers another minecart to dispense. And then the first one just goes all the way up. Um, but I have quite a few more than just two villagers in here. I think there's like five. The three librarians, one cleric, and that nitwit back there. Um, so I actually need a couple more minecarts. And because there's so many of these guys, there's going to be a backlog um, at first until I get like a holding cell and everything set up. So let me work on this a little bit. Let me get that, that temporary holding cell in place. And I'm going to, I'm going to check up here. I, I've been in the area for a little bit. Um, so the iron farms should be active, hypothetically. Let's see uh, how much iron we have here. Cause I'm going to need some more minecarts. Oh yeah. We'll just take like a whole stack, more or less. There we go. Um, and let's see how many uh, minecarts we can make out of this. Um, so we don't have rip the inventory. Okay, let's go back down. And let's put some of this junk away. Actually, I will take that kelp. I'm gonna keep a I'm gonna keep a stack of kelp inside of my redstone box to use with, uh, oops, not my levers. I'll keep these. I guess I'll keep my rails as well. 
need another shulker. All the junk in the world is in my inventory. Um, sticks, no. Torches, no. I guess I'll keep these for building the little holding cell um, that I'm going to put the villagers into. So let's see how many minecarts I can make. Twelve, that's not bad. Uh, throw that on the ground, I guess. Fill that up, and then you fill this up. Oh, I just put them all in the hoppers. <laughs> okay, um, that works, I guess. Um, I will need some method of returning them in into the system, I guess. Um, but I guess I'll figure that out at a later date. I right now, I don't even have enough villagers for it to make any difference. So I guess I'll just leave that there. What is going on? Oh, it's the bubbles. I'm like, what am I seeing through the corner of this? And it's the bubbles from the elevator. Okay, so I've got some minecarts. Let me work on getting a holding cell really, really fast, and then we'll sort through these villagers, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, and welcome back. Um, it is nothing fancy. This is not meant to be anything more than the most mundane holding cell. Uh, just to keep them safe. Um, I don't know if baby zombies can fit through here. I'm gonna hope they can't and just see if that works. Um, I, I legitimately don't know. Um, but I don't know that I have much choice either. Um, so we'll just see what happens. I have a sinking feeling they can fit through there. Um, but like I said, there shouldn't be any anyway, so... We'll just, we'll just go with it for now. Um, this is very, very temporary. Very temporary. I just, as soon as I get all 12 villagers up there, I'm going to completely shut off this portion of it and focus entirely on constructing a permanent home for these guys so they don't have to be here too long. Um, so it should be okay. So let's go down there and grab um, our first villagers. Okay, so I need one minecart, and there goes one, and there goes another, and it's going to clog up the system now. Yeah, see? They're just going to sit here. Okay, now you are a keeper, so you're going that way, and you are not. Looks like they're going to shove each other through. Well... They were going to. Oh, is there someone else coming? There we go. Now you go up there and you stay. I think there was a librarian was the next guy. Is he stuck? Where are you stuck? Alright guys, what is with all of these empty ones? <laughs> you weirdos. Okay, you go. Let's get this and this. Those guys are going to just chill there. This guy should be... What are you harding for? You should not be harding. Okay, so it's turning that way. Good. So let's flip that and get you in. Excellent. Can I have your... Minecarts. You and Thank you. Okay. Now, hypothetically, these guys won't be able to get out. You tried. You tried. It didn't work, but you tried. Good. Good effort. Okay. So let's see who is next. All right. It's the nitwit and then the librarian. You guys have a oh, great. <laughs> Can you guys? There we go. Oh, for heaven's sakes, this is the problem here. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, really? Keep going. Nope, nope, nope. Keep going. Keep going. I don't want to turn back now. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. I knew this was going to be a problem. Wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, I guess we're getting a villager in the wrong category. Let's get that. That's a 
lot of uh, minecarts right there. Okay, so let's throw these back in the system. I knew this was going to be a problem at the at the start because there were so many backlogged villagers. Eventually, uh, we'll have a better system in place to prevent that. Now, somehow, I need to get you. No, 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 no. No, I just want you to stand still. Okay, excellent. All right, now you turn this way. Good. And you turn this way. Go on, go on. There. That's better. And you know what? These guys have been nabbed by new uh, minecarts that came through. I'm just going to leave them there, I think. I think I'm literally just going to leave them there. All right. So those guys are taken care of. Let's run upstairs. We should now have... Uh, oh, great. It's nighttime. We should have two villagers all the way at the top now. And we can see one of them making, a, making his way over there on the right side. Um, it has just enough oomph to get them all the way up. But our other villager should already be up here. Except he's not. Alright, that's peculiar. Oh, here he is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, it took you a long time to get... Well, where's Nitwit then? Okay, so let's get... You know what? It's fine if the other guy comes along. Let's break that. He's not coming yet. Bust your minecart. And... Push you in. Where's your other guy? Did he? He might have gotten bumped back down. Now that I think of it. All right, let's put the glass back in just so that they're safe. How many are we are up to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's about what I thought it would be. Let's see where what happened to our nitwit. I have a suspicion that he uh, got bounced back down into the system. If so, the question is, where did he come to a stop? He's not in there. Uh, I don't think... Well, no, he would have come to a stop on this if he'd come back that way. Where is he? Nitwit! Where are you? Nitwit! got to be here somewhere. He's not along here. Okay, so he's definitely out there. How much you want to bet that I didn't see him as I was coming down and he was still on his way up? Oh, here he is. Just chilling, huh? Oh yeah, this is a... This is uh, not good. I thought I had... How in the world did the other guy get up here then? Oh, that's probably what took the other guy so long. The Nick came and pushed him along, so I need... Lever. No, you don't. You're supposed to go up. There you go. Alright. Now let's go to the top. And we should be able to wait for him to come up here. Let's break this. And I don't know where he is. shove the villager back. Good job! Good job! <sighs> and that's just triggered two new minecarts. I want to know why that guy didn't make it all the way up. Okay, I'm 
just gonna leave that that librarian to play on his minecart racetrack. Let's see where the villager. Because I've done this with numerous villagers. I don't know why the uh, nitwit was unable to make it all the way to the top. There he is. Okay. Alright. Yep, still going. I don't understand it. Okay, well, he's here now, and that's the important bit. Alright, come here, you. Let's get you in. Oops, I'm sorry for the fall, but you're the one who ran off the edge. Okay, so now we're up to, what, eight villagers? Or seven villagers. We're up to seven villagers in here. Now we just need to get five more. Let me get at this. I'm going to have to go and do some uh, AFKing at the breeder to get five more villagers. I'll bring you back once I've got all, all 12 guys in here. And welcome back everyone. I have done quite a bit of work. It occurred to me that I could put my camera account over there uh, in spectator mode and just leave it there. All you, In order for villagers to do their things, they just need someone or something to have the chunks loaded um, and a camera account apparently qualifies. Um, so I took, I logged into my camera account. Now on this server, it is not automatically in spectator mode. It starts out in survival. Um, then we have a couple different command blocks set up around the server where you just click a button and instantly poof, you're into spectator mode or adventure mode or, you know, whatever. Um, and then the way to reset it is just by logging out and logging back in. So I left my, uh, villager, or I mean, not my villager, my, uh, camera account over here with the villagers. It probably, I mean, I didn't really time it, but I was working um, on the hill behind me, so it was probably uh, easily uh, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe. Um, and I finally did get all five villagers that I needed. Um, so both iron farms now have their full capacity of 12 villagers apiece. Um, and as you can see, I took down the uh, spiral, um, uh, you know, rail cart system thingy um, that was getting them up there because we don't need it anymore. We don't need it. Um, I have, of course, still left the ladder leading to the temporary AFK platform up there. And there's like a single dirt pillar over there that, you know, whatever. It's, it's basically spanning the difference from that corner down to the corresponding corner on the other one. Um, just, it was, I used it to guide myself to the correct height when I built the second one. Not a big deal, though. I'll just leave it there for now. Um, or maybe permanently, I don't know. Um, as you can see, I've done a lot of work on the hill. Uh, I figured while I was waiting for those guys to do their thing, I might as well start working on, on stuff over here. Um, so I have slowly been tearing down the temporary hill uh, the DD put up for us to just to keep us safe and everything. Um, give us a nice, uh, a nice area underneath where we can do our stuff without having to, you know, be on the lookout for all sorts of nasty things trying to kill us. Um, hence the torch spam that's down there as well. Um, so I've slowly been peeling that back and replacing it with uh, this terraforming here. This is kind of my first uh, attempt at terraforming a hill. I've only got this one side. As you can see, that's just a crater over there. And over here, um, you can see it gets much steeper right here. And there's like a hole right there. This this area I've not done either. Um, and the idea is because because the iron farms are square in shape, but I need the, I need it, I don't want a square hill, you know? <laughs> like, where do you see naturally, naturally, like, in real life, square hills? It's not typically common. Um, so I, I tried to give it a circular shape with a whole bunch of dirt up there, um, and then I'm slowly bringing it down. So the idea is that I will have this sort of effect going all the way around, um, which may, which will impact the river on either side. So we'll probably end up having to do something interesting with the river to, uh, I don't know, to, to give it a meaning, I guess. I might make some sort of canal running through it. Um, though once I do, if I do that, um, I will of course have to alter it because right now it's going to run straight through the mob farm. Uh, and you know, we don't want that. Uh, like, yo, you're going down through through this river and then wall, hello, <laughs> you know? Um, but that's going to be like a much later thing. First, I just want to get the hill. So what I'm probably going to work on for quite a while, actually, um, I'll probably be, I'll be bouncing back and forth between the nether project and this project. 
Um, I know I said I wanted the focus to really be on the Nether since that's where my team is, um, but realistically we can be on as many teams as we want on this server. We don't have to stick with just one. Um, so I'm going to kind of consider this as being my off project. So I'm, I don't know whether I'll alternate like Nether versus Overworld or, you know, maybe I'll just get heavily involved in one project. For example, I, this, I, I, at first I was like, I hate terraforming. I hate terraforming. Someone banned me from terraforming. But then, um, and, and I'll, I'll share with you my little, uh, my little technique, <laughs> um, for, for terraforming this hill and any other hills that I ever do in my lifetime. Um, I find it really helps to look up, like, a time lapse from Scar, <laughs> and then just, like, watch him. It, it, I don't know, it got me, like, just watching someone else who's really good at terraforming, watching them terraform, just gave me, like, this huge burst of inspiration. So, like, this is just the first iteration. This is to get the shape of the hill. Shape of the hill comes first. Uh, any fancy doodads I do after that will, of course, come later. But first, I need to get the shape. Um, so I, I watched a time lapse, just random. I just totally random, just Googled it, whatever. Um, I wasn't even initially thinking of doing, like, watching a scar video. I was just like, uh, terraforming hill, how to do, you know? Um, and I found one by Scar, uh, he wasn't actually even doing a hill, he was doing like a mountainside, which is kind of a similar concept, um, just on a much larger scale, of course. Um, so, I, I watched that, got horribly inspired, and then I also found it helped to, uh, um, and I'm, I'm like a musician a, a bit in, in, like, real life, uh, music, I don't know, music just like stirs me in ways that, you know, some people really get inspired by... Uh, visuals, some people get inspired by music, some people both, all the different kinds of things that can inspire you, but music really touches me, um, and like speaks to me, I guess. So having really good music playing in the background while I terraformed, uh, really helped as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just how I did this. So, um, I think that's probably all we're going to go over in this episode because the villagers took a long time. I had to, I had to wait for those guys forever to get going. Um, and of course I had to redo my episode because I, I lost those clips earlier. So I'm probably just going to call it here. Um, between now and the next episode, depending on how much time, um, I have, I will continue to work on terraforming this hill. Um, and I'll continue working in the slums in the nether. But for now, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Oh, I still have hitboxes turned on from when I was working with villagers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you keep coming back for more. Uh, if you have any tips, I am totally open to them. Uh, as far as terraforming is concerned, like I said, this is my first hill, so be nice. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit nice. Play easy on me. Um... But yeah, until next time, I, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!